Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the new Amrezia palette. First of all, can we just talk about this packaging? I'm a super girly girl, so anything pink and glittery, glitter, literally, glittery, <laughs> anything pink and glittery is right up my alley. And I love how that glitter doesn't come off so that's definitely like a perk because i hate those packagings that are glitter and it just all rubs off on you when you touch it i just cannot stand that and then the shades in here you get 16 gorgeous shades you have some beautiful transition shades in here and then you have a black for a smoky eye like kind of what i did today and i just wanted to talk about the shimmers or gl pressed glitters or whatever these are i'm actually not sure but oh my gosh they are on a whole nother level they are so pigmented and i didn't even go in with fix plus and they're just so intense and i love it um they are so pigmented and so intense. Like I said, I didn't go in with Fix Plus and I just went in and and I was just like, <laughs> okay. So, you know what's funny? I actually, I've been following her for a while. So, <laughs> look what I have. <laughs> look what I have. So, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to do like a little comparison. Like, this is the baby we started with. And then this is like a big baller. Like, you know what I mean? But... They are two completely different palettes and I love both of them. This was from like years ago, which is actually funny because I was thinking about disposing of this just because it came out years ago and the lifespan on this is six months. But I don't know, I just decided to keep it for my collection, which you know what? I'm kind of glad I did. But I remember when this first came out, I was obsessed with this baby. This purple and green were like my colors. And then she came out with this baby which is like 10,000 times better because the formulation and everything obviously they've changed they've been stepping up their game so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel and let's get started with the tutorial so the first thing I'm going to be taking is my CoverGirl True Blend Concealer and I'm just going to be applying that onto my lids and that's going to be my base for today. And then because I already did my eyebrows off camera, I'm just going to be carving them out and cleaning them up just a little bit with a concealer brush. And then after I'm done cleaning up my brow, I'm going to go ahead and take a fluffy brush and blend out the concealer with this brush just because... I prefer to blend my concealer out with this brush and then being the genius that I am because I did borrow this palette from my friend I forgot to get clips of it because you guys know how I like to be cute and get cute little clips but I forgot to do that and I already gave her the palette back so I just got this picture off Google <laughs> anyway the first shade I'm going to be taking is Semsa I believe that's how you say it and I'm taking an itty bitty brush this is my makeup shack t82 and then after I started applying my eyeshadow, I went ahead and applied my e.l.f. line and define tapes because I don't know what it is. Lately, I'm just like loving that sharp cat eye look. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those and then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to take that shade and apply it to my outer corner and into my crease. And I'm just going to be blending it in circular motions back and forth. Focusing it mainly in the crease and blending it up towards our brow. And then here, just taking any clean brush, it really doesn't matter as long as it's clean. And I'm just going to be blending out the edges with that just to soften out the edges a little bit more. And then obviously we're going to be losing a little bit of color. So then I do go back in with that same Makeup Shack brush and deepen up the crease just a little bit more. The next shade I'm going in with is BK, which is just a black shade, and I'm taking my Morphe M433, and I'm starting by packing it in my outer corner very lightly. I do tap off a lot of the excess just because black shadow can be scary because it can be so easy to go so wrong with black eyeshadow. Your look can go from looking bomb to being a complete disaster so you want to take your time blending out the black go very slowly go in with a light hand because you can always add color but you can never take away 
a black eyeshadow because you can blend out certain colors but not with black so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that in my outer corner and slowly blend it into my crease and then i'm gonna go back in with semsa and kind of just blend the two shades together and then i'm gonna go ahead and cut my lid i'm just going to be cutting it from inner corner to where we applied the black in the outer corner For my lid, I'm going to be taking the shade Cupcake, which is this beautiful purpley, pinky, shimmery shade. And just taking any flat shader brush, I'm going to be applying that everywhere where we applied our concealer. And usually when I play with new palettes for the shimmers, I always go in by themselves at first. And if I don't like how they perform or if they don't pop as much as I want them to, I'll go in with a little bit of Fix Plus. But this palette was so amazing um i didn't go in with any fix plus the shimmers pop and they're so pigmented and it doesn't need any help from fix plus and then after i'm done applying that i'm gonna go back in with bk and just kind of blend the edges a little bit more and just have cupcake and bk blend it together and then here I'm taking my MAC 212 definer brush and taking a little bit more of BK and I'm just going to be stamping that right where we applied our concealer and I'm just going to be blending it out just so we have a little bit of more definition in our crease. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and take off my e.l.f. Line and Define tapes because we are all done with the lid. And then just taking any makeup wipe, I'm just going to be cleaning up a little bit, which we didn't have too much fallout. I'm mainly just cleaning up a little bit of concealer that I got in my inner corners. Moving on to mascara, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Snapscara Mascara and... Ooh, wait, I kind of like how that sounded. Snapscara Mascara. Anyway, I'm just going to be applying one coat of that to prep for falsies. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to my face. And I'm taking my Becca Skin Love Primer. What else is new? I absolutely love this primer so much. If I can recommend a primer to anybody with dry skin, it is definitely the Becca Skin Love Primer. And then for my foundation, I'm going to be taking the Juvia's Place Foundation, which this is my second bottle because in one of my previous videos i bought it but i accidentally got a color that's like a thousand shades darker than my skin tone and i have no idea how that happened so don't even ask me and i was freaking out because i accidentally squeezed out too much and this foundation is so thick and full coverage like it can literally cover up all your life problems like anything any problem you have this foundation can cover it up girl so don't eat you even worry you know what's so funny and kind of annoying at the same time i don't even think this foundation is really my color but the selection of juvia's place foundations i feel like none of them are my color i feel like i need to go buy another bottle and like a lighter color and maybe mix the two because i feel like they're all just so Compared to my skin tone, they're just like very ashy looking on me, which is so sad because I love the formula so much, but it's just like I'm having trouble picking out my color. I feel like in the store, this one looked good on me, but then now that I'm looking at it in the camera and then when I had it on in person, it's just it's not it girl and then for my concealer i'm going in with my hourglass concealer which i'm so excited to use because i just bought this and i absolutely love hourglass products and i totally forgot to use this as my base for my eyeshadow too because i did go in with my cover girl and then while i was gonna go do my face i was like wait i have my hourglass concealer but this baby is so lightweight yet so full coverage and it blends so well well and it just feels so amazing it makes your skin look almost photoshopped like when you go in to bake afterwards it just looks so soft and smooth and it covers up your pores it doesn't really sit into your pores and i am just obsessed with this concealer it was worth every single penny she was a little bit expensive but she's worth every single penny and then I didn't really apply concealer anywhere else on my face, kind of just whatever was left on my brush. I went around my nose and around my mouth and on my chin. 
And of course, what better powder to use with my Hourglass Concealer other than the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. And then I didn't really bake today, I just took a little bit of powder and then I kind of just pushed it into my skin and just kept tapping until the white powder disappeared and i'm telling you guys this concealer and powder for under your eyes like yes do the dance girl do the dance it looks so beautiful like i cannot even tell you guys it looks so smooth and photoshopped and just it doesn't look cakey and it just looked amazing and then I'm going to go ahead and I did bake on the sides of my nose just because I tend to crease really bad on the sides of my nose. And then just a little bit on my chin and on my forehead. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. I know, such a full coverage foundation with such a full coverage powder because your girl kind of needs it right now. I don't know why I have been breaking out like crazy this past couple months it's finally starting to go away but i don't know what i have been eating or what it is but my skin has just been breaking out like crazy and i am not happy about it and then for my bronzer i'm going to be taking my l'oreal true match lumi bronze it and any angled brush this is my makeup shack angled brush and i'm just going to be carving out my cheeks just a little bit and bronzing up my forehead For my blush today, I'm going to be taking this one by LA Girl Cosmetics in the shade Just Playful. And I have been eyeing this blush for so long and I don't know why I never even picked it up. I think it's like 3 or $5 and it's just so beautiful. And I'm just going to be applying that with a stippling brush and she is so pigmented. And I feel like this color will just look perfect with any makeup look. And then, of course, for my highlighter, what better highlighter to use than the Amrizi highlighter with the Amrizi eyeshadow palette? And I'm just going to be applying that on to my cheeks and on my cupid's bow and a nose. For my lips today, we're going to be using all KKW Beauty products. For my lip liner, I'm using the shade Pink 2. And I'm just going to be aligning my lips and filling them in just a little bit with that. And then for my lipstick, I'm using the shade Nude 1. And I'm just going to be going all over my lips with that lipstick as well just because i wanted to mix the two colors i didn't really want like an ombre like from pink to nude Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm just taking that same 212 definer brush we used earlier for our crease and I'm just mixing BK and SEMSA and I'm just going to be pressing that really close to my lower lash line and then blending it down just a little bit. Moving on to the lashes, of course, what else is new? I'm going to be taking my Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. I love these lashes so much because they are so wispy and fluffy. And look at that. Do you guys see that difference lashes make? And I think I love Flutter Lashes so much. It's because if you take good care of them, they last you so many uses. And of course, last but not least, I'm going to go in with some mascara for my lower lashes and highlight them inner corners with the same Amrezi highlighter and we are all done you guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel i upload videos every single week and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys